All right, today I'm going to show you how to troubleshoot an issue with Sekuli on, a, on the MacBook. Uh, once you install Sekuli, if you're trying to run the program and you're just kind of getting a, you know, error, if the error looks like this, if it says unsupported major dot minor version, it probably means that you have uh, an old version of Java installed. What you want to do is go download Java 7 from Java's website. Uh, get the 64-bit version if you're on 64-bit Mac, uh, 32 if you're on 32-bit. Install that, and then what you want to do is you're going to want to open this run Sekuli file. I use Atom, but I'm going to assume that you guys don't have that. And I'm just going to select a text editor here. And there it is. So in this file, near the bottom, there is a line that calls Java and it opens up the some, one of these files, I think it's the Sekuli uh, jar right here, and it's using the wrong Java, so you need to update that. On my computer, it's going to be stored in this folder here. Uh, on most MacBooks, Java 7 is going to be stored in this folder, so it is safe to just copy and paste that right in front of the word Java. I'll redo that again if you didn't see. It just kind of wraps the words, I think. There you go. So I just pasted it there. And once I save this, and I use this file, instead of getting an error, Sekuli starts to boot up. And we'll see here in a second. So my computer I think, is a little slow when it's recording and trying to Boot this up, but I'll show you that it works as well. Um, the app that it generates that you put in your applications folder, it's you can open that up, and there's another run file, and it's the exact same run file, but when you edit it, I'm just going to open it in Atom this time. Um, when you open it, and I think I already changed this file in here. It doesn't actually work, so using the same line doesn't actually seem to do anything, unless you double click the run from in here, but if you actually run the, the program here, it's going to do the open and close. But here we go, I'll demonstrate that this is in fact working. Let's click on Steam. All right, I guess I could have done that manually, but you get the idea. <laughs> All right, so that's the end of the tutorial. If you are able to figure out how to get it to launch from in the applications folder, let me know in the comments. Um, but other than that, you should be able to just run it from straight in here. So hope the video helped. If it did help you, give it a like and maybe subscribe.